Certainly no lack of excitement on television tonight between this Jeopardy game and baseball. It's like March Madness. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams, and you know during March Madness and you're flipping between channels, or sometimes you have two TVs, or you're in a bar and watching three or four games at once, and all sorts of wild stuff is happening. Wild stuff happening here with Matt almost finishing Double Jeopardy in second place. Got it back on the last clue. The Jays and Rangers having a, a wild game, and I'm happy that the Jays put that one away finally. I haven't watched Real Fortune yet. Maybe someone won a million dollars, and then later on tonight there's another baseball game, another game five between two teams that haven't won in a long time, and in one case haven't won ever. Is that enough for you? Not for me, I guess. I'm a adrenaline junkie of sorts. Michael, uh, went a little low on that Daily Double, I thought. I would have just gone all in. Try to get that lead heading into Final Jeopardy. Don't let Matt claw his way back in front of you. Of course, being in the lead is sometimes a double-edged sword if the scores are really close. This is going to happen to Matt here, but I haven't had the opportunity to do any math in a while, except for that pen and paper one-day special on Lord League, which was a bear and took way too much of my time this weekend. I didn't even get them all right. Awful. 17-6 for Michael, 35-2, uh, this is easy, this is 17-4, I didn't really need to do the math there. Uh, Michael could risk up to 17-2 and still win, and back and forth. Sally here, uh, I would want to stay above Matt, so 7,200 would be my cap. Sally, 7,600, doubles up, that's going to be 15-2, so that's pretty easy, you can just see it. That's going to be 10,000, 20,000 minus, or I'm just doing math weirdly in my head. Uh, I would consider, as Michael, capping my wager at 2,400, yeah. And now we got helicopters. Maybe there's a police chase or something here in Brooklyn. Uh, the scores are so close that this is actually, so I have this basket of pens. It has all my pens in it. And I've had it put away for the last two weeks because I haven't really needed it. I only needed one color at a time. So this is just blowing my mind. Uh, the scores here are so close that Matt should just either go for the lockout or uh, force Michael to get it right. Of course, if I'm Matt, I'm going to put stock in my own ability. Uh, Michael might want to cap his wager at 2200 to take into account the possible strategic wager of uh, the cover this 2400 amount, maybe 2200, but I'm not all that concerned about it. I doubt Matt, uh, Matt is going to play mind games, and uh, he didn't. Oh yeah, Michael should wager at least 400. He didn't. Uh, Sally, I don't know why she went for everything, but uh, cost herself a thousand. Speaking of exciting, I know I've talked about a lot of exciting stuff already, but the Tournament of Champions wrapped today. I don't know who won. I don't know who is even there. If there's a mystery person, multiple mystery people, who made it to the semis, what the matchups are even, I expect to be as surprised as you are come November 9th. I think that's when it starts. But uh, maybe Matt Jackson added another $250,000 to his total. We'll find out. And we'll find out if Michael can go on a little run of his own. That'll start tomorrow. It'll be weird to have a new champion, but Michael looked like he was having fun up there, although he did look very nervous holding his uh, buzzer thingy. Do we have a name for that yet? The clicker? Signaling device? Very rigidly for most of the game, and Alex's crack about putting it down was pretty fun. All right, we'll see him tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow, and uh, you can go turn on some baseball. Thanks for watching The Final Wager.